What is up guys, today the Sync finally arrived with a new controller for 32 km per hour and in this video I will show you how to make your e-scooter 9bot F2 Pro Plus or just regular F2 or actually any other models with similar guidance how to unlock it to 32 or even 35 km per hour so here we have, I ordered this controller from Aliexpress for $30, arrived within one week and for $30 or let's say 30 euros you can get your scooter unlocked in any countries or any regions even working for German version which was limited only to 20 km per hour and it's quite easy to replace it and it takes only around 20 minutes and always you can return it back to the normal one so original controller will stay with you and you can just replace it back all right so let's uh, test it out here i have uh, the model uh, for 20 km per hour maximum okay let's try it out i uh, just put up the wheel let's launch it so 20 km per hour in a speed mode as you see how it's going quite slow and let's make it 32 so first what you need to do is to disable your scooter here and then put it on one side all right so you just put it on the side here take the controller just be it near you what you need to have is the screwdriver just regular one screwdriver you need to unscrew two screws here so let's do it now I can do it even with one, one hand, but better I will put my camera and move back. Okay, let's go one by one. Just regular Phillips screw here, that's actually what you need to have for just uh, unscrew it here. Phillips screwdriver and 3mm Allen key. Actually, this Allen key. Actually, this Allen keys goes together with the e-scooter. So only what you need to have is those two things to dismantle it. It's very simple, very easy, and uh, I don't think you even wear the warranty because there is no any marks of dismantling here. All right, so we unscrew it here. Let's put it back. In a normal mode and now what you need to do is to dismantle from this side so let me install the scooter here be careful all right so here you have two more screws from left from right so just dismantle it very gently nothing special is in this area one and two all right Our controller here okay this will void your warranty as you see here you have this uh, sticker and if you damaged it I don't know whether you can do it accurately but no as you see it's just damage directly your uh, warranty if you unscrew this sticker let's say so if you disconnect the controller your warranty will be voided so be careful and let's replace it so i have exactly the same controller here but already unlocked so what you need to do is to unscrew all these things here one by one
right now we have two controllers in my hand that the original one actually looks very similar the quality a bit higher than this uh, let's say uh, second one that I've got uh, from China from AliExpress but in general they looks very similar here and now what you need to do is to dismantle it back so first of all you put it back here and then connect actually let's do it one by one firstly you install the controller do it same way as you did it to dismantle Okay, now it's connected. Let's connect back the top cover. Okay, just put it like this. Don't screw first. Let's test it out. So, okay, it's turned on in the parking mode here. Let's try the speed 15. Drive is 25 now. Okay, let's try 32. Disable from parking. Let's go. 32 is running. So everything is perfect. In a speed mode, you can go up to 32 km per hour. Drive mode is 25 km per hour. And the uh, echo mode is 15 km per hour. So as you see, it's working perfectly now. Then you need, if you test it out, everything is working. Need to put back all the screws and let's do it now and later I will show you how to connect it to the app. here we go everything is smoothly here doesn't look that you change anything but remember you have 32 kilometers per hour now again test it out 32 moving perfectly so basically that's pretty much it thank you for watching put the thumbs up and see you next time